Welcome back to Confirmation here at PLC. Last week, we went over some Bible basics like how to find a Bible verse and how to use the Bible in your daily life. This week, we are talking about God's creation. Do you know which book in the Bible you can find the creation story? Genesis. The word Genesis literally means origin or beginning. It's where it all started. Trees started in Genesis. Dogs started in Genesis. You and me started in Genesis. So let's talk about it. Let's open up our Bibles to the very first book in the Bible, Genesis. All right. Here we go. If you look at any of the verses in Genesis, you'll see that it's not super detailed. It's pretty blunt and to the point. And God said, let there be light, and there was light. That isn't very detailed, is it? We're gonna talk about why that is today. Another why we're gonna cover is, why did God create? He created out of love. He had so much love to give, so he had to create. And with each thing he made, he saw that it is good. Genesis was written for the wow, not the how. Genesis 1 and 2 actually have very different creation stories. Did you know that? It has different orders on when things were created. Lots of people use this to say, how can you believe in the Bible when it contradicts itself? Well, let me tell you why it was written like that. Have you ever heard someone tell a story and think to yourself, wow, that's not how I tell it. That's exactly what happened in the Bible. It's two different perspectives on the same story. People back in this time period passed down history through storytelling. The story of creation is not written chronologically, but it focused on telling the audience how awesome it is. For example, we do this all the time. Let's say that you're telling your friend about an awesome pair of new shoes that you bought. When you tell your friend about the shoes you got, you're gonna tell them about the shoes, the color, the feel, the laces, the look, you're not gonna sit down and say, hey Amanda, here's exactly how I got my shoes. My mom picked me up at 3.15 in the afternoon and we stopped by and got a snack from home, then we went to EP Mall and went to DSW, shopped around a little bit. No, you're simply gonna tell them how awesome your new shoes are. This is the way it is with the creation story. It tells a story of God's love. He created out of love and he created a very beautiful world out of love. And guess what? I believe that scripture goes hand in hand with the theories of science that you might be learning in school. Have you ever heard about the Big Bang theory in school? Well, God is the Big Bang. He is the spark that ignites the flame of the bang. How cool is that? Let's talk about exactly what God created. Everywhere you look, you see a piece of God's beautiful and miraculous creation. Today, I'm gonna to teach you an easy way to remember each day of creation. So on day one, does anybody know what God created? God created light. So this is the first hand symbol. We're gonna use our finger as the light. Day one, he created light. On the second day, God separated the sky from the water. So you take your two and separate the sky from the water. On day three, God created dry land. And on this dry land, he created lots of plants. So this is like the plants blowing in the wind. Day three. Day four, God created the sun, moon, and stars. When you do your fingers like this, you see the sunbeams, that crescent moon, and then the stars in the sky. Now day five is birds and fish, all land animals. So to remember that, you can make a little bird wing and you can make a little fish with your five. Did you know on day six is a very special day of creation? That is the day that God created you and me. It's my favorite day of creation. Not only did God create us that day, but he created living creatures of all kinds. And in Genesis chapter one, verse 27, God says, God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. When God talks about creating mankind, that is the first time he tells us why he created something and how he created it. How did God create us? Well, Genesis chapter two, verse seven says, then the Lord formed a man from the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life. And the man became a living being. 
God made mankind from the very earth that he created. And do you know how he created women? From a rib from Adam. Genesis even tells us why God created us. Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 says, let us make mankind in our image so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the, li the livestock and the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. God created us to take care of his creation. He loved us and trusted us enough to take care of literally everything else he created. And that's still our job today to take care of the planet, the animals, the oceans. It's our job to love this world as much as God did when he created it. The creation account shows ascending order of significance with human life as the final creative act. He saved the very best for last. He saved you and me for last. How cool. So our hand symbol for day six, start with day five and think of these five as animals, the livestock. And then there's Adam. This is how you remember day six. To recap the creation days, we got one, he created light. Day two, he separated the sky and the sea. Day three is the earth and plants. Day four is the sun, moon, and stars. Day five is the bird and fish. And day six is when he created all of us. So here's the sign for day seven. God rested. This day is super important, but why is it important? Okay, think about it this way. Who out there loves Christmas? Do you help cook things for the holiday, buy presents? What if we baked a bunch of cookies, decorated the house, bought elaborate presents and wrapped them beautifully and placed them under the tree, but we never took the time to sit around and eat the cookies or opened any presents? What good would that do? It would all go to waste. In the same way, God took day seven to relax and enjoy all of the beautiful creation that he had built. To look around and say, wow, it is good. But even then, he takes it one step further and calls that day holy. It means dedicated to God. This is the day that we call Sabbath, and it's our Sunday. A day that we get to come together and breathe new life rest and spend some time with God. It's the most important day of creation and it's the most important day in our week. All right, that's our lesson on creation for you this week. God created everything in his image, including you, and it is good. I'll see you next week. Bye.